Hello there, and welcome back to Captain Joel's Rainbow Jaunt of Bees and Kittens. Or something like that, anyway. Fuck it, Joel, crack us some more, wouldn't you, lad? I can see a lad, can't I? You're like 30 years older than I am. I'm stuck on the side of a car. Not a cracking start. The ladies have abandoned us for higher ground. I always knew that this would leave me for feet that weren't damp. So it's just a matter of time, really. Speaking of matter of time, ooh, hello. I'm gonna take this plant pot and eat the herbs within to become stronger. Apparently. Present evil logic, don't question it. Not a bad plan. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, once you cause enough structural damage inside the city location, especially people with um, subterranean areas, you eventually create pockets that are basically just unintentionally fortified bunkers. Just layers upon layers of concrete over small, concealed underground spaces. So eventually the bombs stop having any real effect. Except for moving parts of rubble from one area to another. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, yes, don't give me that look, girls. I'm just looking around for vital supplies. You know the things we need not to die while we're out here? That and collecting plants, apparently. Pressed flowers must be a hobby of Joel's. One of his many, in fact. Not that he'd ever admit to it. That would involve dropping the persona of a pseudo badassery. Or at least the persona of a fuck offery. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm rambling slightly because I'm playing this. I'm playing this later than I normally would. So past that point of the day when I normally stop playing games because I know I'm going to start getting tired and frustrated. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means obviously this game is holding my interest long enough for me to play into that period of time. But also a bad thing because of, well, since I'm playing on hard mode on a survival game, being tired is not going to work well. I'll probably take a nap in the back of this truck. So, a uh, quick turn does work. You know, when it actually wants to. I think you have to hold X rather than just tap it. What the fuck was that? Tess, you hear that? Yeah. Found it pretty far away, though. No, it didn't. It sounded like it came from like a building over at most. Come on. Yeah, I should probably stop looking around for supplies at this point, shouldn't I, really? If there are things that make abysmal wailing noises somewhere out here in the wastes, probably a good idea for me not to be here, really. Damn, that's quite a drop. Well, there's the Capitol building. Yeah. We need to get yeah, for all five seconds, let me lock onto it. This is the downtown area? It was. Yeah, can you tell by the drop? You get it down, down, vertical. I'm wasted on you people. Speaking of which, it's all progressing well. You languish behind this time. How does it feel, girls? Da -da -da -da. Uh, no sign of booties, that disappoints me. Disappoints me greatly, in fact. Ellie? Ellie? You coming? Come on, mini wench. A wench yet. Let's be going, shall we? And that is to the route it wants us to go, because there's quite literally a path carved through the foliage pointing right in that there. direction. Keep looking. Uh, anything hidden in the corners? You just stay close to her for now. Yeah, try not to die. That's all we can really ask of you at this point, kid. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm disappointed there was nothing up the corners there. Yes. In fact, there's been a lot of areas of this game where there's nothing up the corner. It's been ripped apart. He's pretty fresh. Hmm. Man chops. Not my favourite snack. Apparently, one that's quite favoured by the zombies, though. I said, they don't really seem to do much eating of the corpses, they just tend to sort of rip them up a bit. Perhaps numb a mouthful or two and then bugger off again. Well, well lacklustre really when you think about it. It's all more about the murder. All bite and no trousers. Being sneaky. Hard to do with such a loud door, but... 
think we sort of pulled it off at least a little bit. Hmm. Ominous groaning noises. This time not coming from the zombies, this time coming from the structure around us, which is likely to topple down into a yawning chasm of some sort. At least that's my professional take on the... Yeah, just take all your shit. Hope you don't mind. What we got here? Blah, blah, blah. Down. Negative contact, negative contact. Spotted something running into an empty building. Found multiple contacts and then got your ass is handed to you. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is that? Nope, it's not alive, at least anyway. Or at the very least, it's not giving off any sound, which is not entirely the same thing. God damn it. Clicker. Yeah, the soldiers mentioned those. The fuck are you supposed to be? Base. That's what years of infection will do to you. So what are they? Sort of. Sort of looks a bit like what would happen if you handed over the designs for a toad from Super Mario to H.R. Geiger. Jesus Christ. So this infection thing is definitely fungal. Well, of course it's fungal. That would explain the whole spores thing earlier on, wouldn't it? Of course it would. We should have figured that out a lot earlier. And of course, oh yes, of course we found that corpse with the mushrooms growing out of it as well, didn't we? Ah, right, of course. Being tragically slow on the uptake for some reason. Alright, it makes make a lot more sense. So the infection is fungal, not parasitical, not viral. But fungal, that is, that's different, I gotta admit. I can't think of any game that's used fungal infection in the whole zombie mythos. Mine! I think I can make an extra shiv with that. If I'm very, very lucky. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? A combat knife! I can stab a fucker! Or something like that. Get out of the way, ladies. Thank you. Do we have to start doing that crap when we're trying to run away from deadly danger? I'm just saying. About to fall apart. Last thing any of us need is you getting in the way when I'm trying to run from deadly danger. Because as far as I'm aware, I don't want to actually head. really get hurt. Because that seems to be the only one enemies actually go for. Well, that's sad, I suppose. That one guy did try and punch Tess, didn't he? I think. Totally cool. Or am I misremembering? No, it was in my replay, wasn't You guys didn't see that, but yeah. One of the guys tried to punch her. It didn't work, but he tried. Hmm. Still, to stop it getting frustrating, both her and Ellie would presumably have quite a lot of health. Or else they'd be dying every five seconds in the middle of firefights because they tend to just run around in circles and shit, and the enemies very rarely actually target them. Give me a hand with this. Push square to be a cooperative hero! No! I don't know if he heard that. Yes! Right, get off me! Handsome lad. Couldn't recommend him more. This is fabulous with makeovers, however. I think removing the lower quarter of your face did wonders for you. And improve your social life. Search for supplies. Fucking hell. Oh, yes, yes it was. Is that considering Oh dear. Considering they moved by echolocation, she said, didn't she? We just fired like three gunshots. That's going to bring every single one of them converging on this area. Well, if they're blind, presumably they can't actually climb and Here, stuff. So as long as they're not on the same level, we should be fine. Right, how did that guy get up here, I wonder? No, I suppose it makes sense. He would have been a, a normal infected. Would have clambered around up here. Presumably got lost. It is, you know, dazed animal state. And then slowly de degenerated into the thing we saw there. It's weird. It's a weird hiccup on my audio. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna do that, but first, there was a door over yonder. A door that may hold many fantabulous mysteries. Many zombies as well, but... Need a shiv. A full shiv. Well, I can make a shiv. Do really need anything special about it? I just need to literally make a shiv. 
Ooh, I can make health kits as well. Interesting. Hmm, so this is a bit like DS3's crafting mechanic in some respects. Or at least the uh, materials you're using make actually, you know, some kind of sense as to how they make the things they're being asked as a requirement for. Ooh, hello. Speaking of Dead Space, I think we've encountered this game's version of Dead Space's uh, power node rooms. Use up a consumable item, in this case a shiv. Get a room with uh, a number of goodies in it. Not very many, of course. Though I do wonder, is it dependent on difficulty level? Or is it randomised, like the Dead Space system? So other than very, very... Uh, well, for certain preset items, everything else is randomised. It looks like it would have been a nice waiting room back in the day. Not sure what for, but... Medical thing of some sort? That sort of general setup? Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think on the water they something chemist or chemistry, didn't it? So yeah, makes sense. Nothing else, I got to go over there and read that, because there was nothing in the drawers. And considering the placement of the drawers, I'm wondering, is item, item distribution random as well, or again, is that dependent on actual difficulty selection? That's clear. Come on, Ellie. All right, kid, you're up. I found a lot of these drawers that literally absolutely fuck all in them. You got it. You... Please be slower, girls. Really, it's not like I'm in deadly danger down here or anything. Let's go. I love that the entire subtitle shows up even if he only says like the opening syllable of the line. Opus. Because you all made so much noise. Not my fault, they can't hear Opus. He really is like Toad's deviant cousin Joey that none of the family likes to talk about. Yeah, Joey, have a drink! Yes. He loves that Mountain Dew. He's gonna chase that to the ends of the earth. I'm presuming that little cutscene was to tell me that they chase sound regardless of what it sources, because they can't see. So that means... As long as I can create a distraction with my bottles and such. Yeah. I presume you guys follow a pre-scripted route until something disturbs you. And then you slowly sort of loop back towards that uh, predetermined path. Yeah, you're sort of looping back towards where we first saw you. Are you close enough for that to... No, you're not close enough for to actually hear that. Interesting. I think... I'm not sure it's because or in spite of the fact this game's got so many sound mechanics. The actual range on the sound is a lot less than you'd think it would be. I mean, you do certain things. Well, there's even certain actions that, regardless of how loud they actually are. Oh, fuck. They actually are. Don't trigger anything. Don't trigger a single response. As long as you're outside of a certain range, you can literally jump up and down, smash metal pipes against walls, and no one will react. Other than shitting my pants? <laughs> It's refreshingly honest, girl. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, the honesty, not so much the soiling of undergarments. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like, that, should, that should have attracted every single clicker in this place. Especially considering the acoustics of the building carrying the sound further than normal. The stairwell's blocked. Thinking that's supposed to watch the scaffold. I'm presuming he can't climb because he's blind and stuff. Crazy. Or just smashing his face repeatedly into the said scaffolding at the moment. Are you serious? Yep, yeah, apparently she is. Apparently I'm dating a crazy lady. You'd have to be to put up with John. Miserable fucker that he is. Ooh. And fat fucker that he is, apparently. Graceful as a concrete elephant, eh, John? And about as good looking. We got away for Oh my. Yeah. That's the one who is afraid of heights, or more accurately falling from heights. 
That was not a fun section just there. Not fun at all. Ooh, ooh new gun. Ooh, you're mine, son. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, very yes. Mm. Revolver. And a very complex swapping mechanic. Wouldn't it be easy if we just had like a menu tab where I could just select what gun I had equipped rather than having to kind of do some weird quick change shit? Of the menu's context. Even the menus have like a reflex thing going on, that's weird. So if you leave it, it just fades out and you can't change the weapon anymore. You quickly tap the D-pad to enable the option, then hold X. And hope you got your timing right. Actually, come to think, that's going to stop me from quick changing weapons during combat, isn't it? Hmm. That's going to add a whole new layer of difficulty if I can't just quick, you know, swap weapons in and out really quickly. I'll go check it out. Stay with the girl. Why would you go and take them on alone, Joel? There's like 6,000 of the fuckers by the sounds of it, and only one of us. Actually, there's two of us. I mean, free if you take. But they think the girl can't be infected, apparently, so. Just give her both our guns and let her go in all cowboy style. That seems like the best plan. Then, yeah, I suppose not being infected isn't the same as not being able to be killed. Depends how they attack her. In fact, considering most of the infected we've seen have always murdered every single person they've attempted to bite, how exactly do more infected end up being created? There's like a, well, from what I've seen, at least a 100% fatality rate. The only way you'd possibly get more infected is if people manage to fight them off before they're murdered. But very rarely it seems to happen. Combined with the military efforts to wipe them out, it doesn't seem like it could become this much of a problem. Or those are spores, I guess. The dead infected still keep producing the mushroom things and release spores. Even that could be solved just by making sure you burnt the corpses. Again, there shouldn't be any real reason for it having progressed this far. We wouldn't have the game, obviously, I know, but uh... Yeah, let's build relations, shall we? Did I get him? I kind of hope I did. I just wanted to lure him on his own over here. I'm hoping that will count as receiving damage rather than causing a noise, which should lead just him over in this direction. Which hopefully will then... Oh, no, the clicker's moving. It might still have counted as dealing damage, but I think it also counted as being a noise as well. Fuck. Um... Opus. Don't do that. That's my thing. So they're going to wander over to the left. Ooh. Is he just wondering who's the only... Pr no, he's wondering. Fuck. 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 Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face, Joel. To the face! Now when he's distracted, beat him! Get him. I could have grabbed him. Ow! Ow! Run! Run away! Run away! Run away! No people coming for every action. Run! Run! Did you just throw up? Dude, that's totally uncalled for. Gross as well, man. Alright, you can only come from one direction. Fuck you! And your bad musical taste. The aiming system on this is so shit. You know, instead I get to upgrade thing, can I get like a steady mode for Joel's aim here? That would be amazing. Really, really would. You're coming towards the sound of the noise. And I'm oh fuck, they can climb. That hardly seems fair. How would you be able to climb? Once you found your dead friends, but presumably you don't actually know where I am. Yeah, the music's evening out. You don't actually know I'm here yet. Surprise, motherfucker! Beats! Do it epic beats! I broke my weapon in the process, but. Right, come on up! Yeah, it's okay, ladies. I've done everything again. It's becoming a theme in this game. He's Marlene had the excuse of being shot. There's absolutely no reason that... Yeah, there was absolutely no reason that Tess couldn't have stood up there in, you know, the relative safety. And, you know, gunned down one or two of them for me. You could even have Ellie go back out onto the balcony if you want to make sure none of them see her. Not even back out onto the washing thing. You know, the mechanical thing that's actually dangling. Literally just have her go and stand out on that little bit of balcony away from the window. 
So if things do go, you know, badly wrong, we both die, she is still, you know, technically speaking, safe. She can decide where to go from there by herself. With the added fourth sight of knowing exactly where everyone is. And also, there presumably being less of them, because, I mean, I don't know about me, but I know Tess damn well would have taken out at least one or two. She's badass that way. You know what I'm saying? Didn't seem to be any more goodies to be had. Uh, ooh. Triangle thing. Triangle man, triangle man, does whatever a triangle can. Has three angles and a potenus. Don't really know where I was going with this rhyme. Should probably stop. Just gonna stare at the door there, Tess, or. Right, Tess. Help me out here. Alright, hold on. Why does this shit always happen in my games? If stuff like the AI bugging out and even just standing there. I wonder what would have happened if I tried to move this by myself while well, all those twats were still alive. I mean, we moved that other thing and it didn't really attract any attention, but... I don't know, we're a lot closer to uh, all the rest of them in this version. Well, in this area, should I say. See? Doing alright? Yeah, by a certain qualification of alright. If you, you know, by alright you mean none of us are actually dead yet. Uh, yeah, that's fine and dandy. Hey ho, pip and dandy, in fact, you might say. If you were Chris Barry. Down we go. And yeah, let's get to it. Oh boy! You get through here. I was hoping I get to crawl through zombie tunnels. Busy? No, no, not really. Wasn't hoping for that at all. We don't see why we couldn't just drop down. I think we were pretty much near the basement of this place, aren't we? Not the basement, you know, the ground floor. What I just saw out the window there. So can we just smash one of the remaining windows and jump out and peg it? We've done plenty of stuff that makes a lot of noise, so I doubt making a small hole in a window to escape through would really count. After we get back, we can take it easy for a while. go on holiday. Take it easy. always going on about laying low. And you always brush me off. Oh, this time. I believe it when I see it. You know, I've made jokes about it, but seriously, what is you two's deal? You just got some sort of weird survivor's partnership going on, or... You actually an item. It's hard to tell sometimes. You get a little dialogue like that that seems to indicate that... At the very least, Joel's made romantic passes at her, you know, prior to this, and she's always shrugged him off. That seems to indicate that, uh... She's feeling her mortality a bit and might be reconsidering allowing him to, uh... Well, you get the idea. There he is. Hmm. Nope, my camera is locked, I can't even turn around. I've literally got to walk very slowly back down this path. Thank you for that game, thank you. It's a very strange... Well, not strange per se, but very limiting. Ow! That was a stupid thing to take damage for. Stupid slippery concourse. How dare you? It's bad when I'm taking more damage from falling over. You know, busting my dodgy hip. But I am for actually encountering zombies. I like to say, Down here. a lot of these game mechanics seem to be designed to hinder and slow you, make it more difficult to do, you know, X, Y, Z. Stuff I keep abruptly stopping commentating. I uh, only recently had something tweaked, and for some reason, whenever I try to eat and then commentate, it always disagrees Sleep. with me. Firefly. Yep. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Let's hope there's someone. I don't know, he's got a Molotov. Again, in certain degrees of alright, that counts as being damn fine. You know, if you ask me. Certainly a better use for, uh... Scotch or whatever the crap this is than actually drinking the rancid puke. Did my floor turn blue for a second there? I don't know, I've given up trying to catalogue the weird glitches that seem to come along whenever I'm trying to record things. I'm sure I picked something up off his corpse as well. A letter of some sort. Apparently I was hallucinating it. I guess it was a training manual for the Molotov. Oop, hello. What's this? The Firefly's map. Oh, it's only 12 episodes, so I shouldn't be 
a long map. Girl, five foot three, fourteen years old, red hair. I think you've got a stalker, Ellie. You girls run off ahead again? Really? Really? You don't stop doing that. You were gonna get yourselves killed or me killed. No, oh, you were behind me. Still, the point stands. God, we're almost out. Okay, Joel, you take point. I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. Yeah, no, bad plan, but you know I am gonna save my game first when I inevitably fuck this up. I mean, really, what are the odds I'm going to do this successfully on the first try? Well, that sound. I suppose now that I have saved it, I could just replay. Try and make it a bit faster. Nah, I can't really be bothered with that. I'll tell you what, if it takes me a long, long time. But, uh. I want to try and avoid using the Molotov if I can, but I still get the impression that I'm going to be made to do it, kind of thing. There's a dude over there. Let's see. If I can get you two to run to the same spot. Anyone else? Anyone else? You guys look a little chilly. Here, let me help you with that. Burn, burn, burn. Burning zombies on fire. Also, roasted shrooms. Nice. Just need a few tomatoes, perhaps a slice of bacon. We got the makings of a breakfast. Right, more Molotovs, please! Ah, oh, can I only make one, really? Ooh, it's another twat. Is he just gonna keep. Yeah, he's just gonna keep looking at the damage. Well, not looking, you know what I mean. Running around in circles, getting his feet burnt. Now, ideally, I don't wanna kill just you. Ideal. Ah, there we go. There is another bottle, excellent. Ideally, I want you and at least one other person. I can see somebody running around at the top there. So I know there's at least one other guy in this general vicinity, so... Aim for the same spot again, don't change the angle. Got one from the left there. Anyone else? Ooh, one from the right. That'll do me! You see him fly! Shit! I know, right? That was hardcore. Burning zombies with the best of them. Don't you know? Anyone else? Fuck is that? Have I done it? I killed the lot? I mean, I'm deliriously happy if I have, but... Sort of doubt it somehow. Right. Ah, fuck. There's at least one more over there. See, these guys you can't kill with the, um... With anything except... A full-on melee attack, or um, or if a shiv you've got one, you can't strangle them for some reason. I'm not sure why. I mean, they've got vocal cords and they make the clicking noises, so they're using their lungs. I don't know why you can't strangle them to death, but apparently you can't. Fuck, that scared me. That was just Ellie running past behind me. Scared the crap out of me more than any of the zombies have so far. Another bottle. That'll make a nice distraction at least. It'd be better if I could find a little drop of alcohol so I can make myself a uh, a mullet of to take care of whoever's out there. I just suppose I could make a shiv if I can get close enough to the fucker, but I've got to wait for him to calm down and stop running. Just go back to walking normally. Ooh, paper. Fine, let's take a nose at Derek's post, shall we? Uh, chat from the bookshop, let me put my stuff in his safe. Alright, and a combination. Now as long as I don't have to enter that manually, I just have to find the paper, that's great. I mean, the last thing I want to do when I'm trying to hide from, you know, creepy bat zombies, is try and enter a combination into a safe that clicks every time I move the dial. That would not end well for me. Uh, there's one dude down the bottom there, there's also one over to our right somewhere. Opposite sides of the map, so the, it's going to be difficult to lure them into the same area. I think I'm going to have to do a bit of solid snake action. Yeah, yeah. So depending on how... Hmm, that's going to take quite a while though, isn't it? And I'm already at half... Fuck, I'm already at half an hour? Okay. Shh! Good night, sweetheart. 
You've got no idea what's coming. I'm gonna order a pizza. Anyone want slices of mushroom? That's right, you little fucker. You saw nothing. You were too busy crying into your hands. That's what you get for being an emo zombie. Right, careful. Careful, Joe. One pace at a time. Grab the bitch! Don't struggle. Don't struggle. It's okay. It's okay. Fuck, that worked as well. Nice. That's gonna find the way out of here. I think that's everyone, actually. Go. Cool. Let's look. To the face! Oh, we haven't gone crazy. He's the only guy left. Thanks for joining in, Tess. Didn't help in the slightest, but I appreciate the effort. Well, they went, uh... Well, that took longer than expected, but it all went well in the end, so... Yeah. I think I'll end the episode here. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I shall see you all next time.